This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create kind of a squashy, bouncy text animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's a super simple effect, but looks pretty awesome and can be useful in various different ways. So, with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and I have created a new composition. So the first thing that we need to do is select our type tool and type in our text. You can type in whatever text that you want to use. I'm going to type in something like creative. Alright, I'm using the Helvetica font. You can use any font that you like. So I'm going to align the text into the center and then I'm going to click on the small drop down arrow that you see go into animate and add a position just like so then i'm gonna click on the small icon near the add button and let's go into selector and let's add a expression selector then i'm gonna go and add some values to this so first thing that we need to add is going to the property let's add a scale let's add a rotation and also i'm gonna add a tracking right then in the expression selector, I'm going to add an expression to the amount. So I have a simple expression right over here and we will go through it in a second. So I'm going to simply copy this. I have also mentioned this expression in the description below if you want to copy it. And you can also download the free project file. So I'm going to hit Ctrl A, Ctrl C to copy it. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. Let's click one more time and hit Ctrl V to paste the expression. Now, if I preview it, nothing happens. The reason is we need to change the property that we just added. So the first thing that I'm going to do is change the position to 180. And now we have a really nice animation, but we need to take it a bit more further. So let's tweak the scale as well. I'm going to unlink the scale. Let's set this value to zero. And now let's see what we have pretty cool right now let's also add a little bit of rotation so i'm gonna rotate it by minus 30 degrees now with the scale animation we also have this very nice rotation as it adds a little bit of anticipation you can see it looks pretty nice and finally i'm gonna add a little bit of tracking so let's set this to minus 30 and now we will have a little bit of squash and stretch kind of an effect and as you can see it looks pretty awesome now you can play around with the different settings like for example i can increase the tracking amount to get an even more squashy look as you can see pretty awesome but i like to go with minus 30. now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information, check out the link in the description below. Now let's understand the expression that we are using. So the two things that are very important in this expression is the frequency and the decay. So if I increase the frequency right now, we have a very smooth and soft bounce. Now, if I want to increase the stiffness of this, I can, let's say if I increase my frequency to five, we will have a pretty hardcore bouncing ball kind of an effect which is pretty intense. So I like to obviously go with frequency one. Now with the DK, if I increase this, so let's say if I make this 10, the squash and stretch becomes lesser and it's a much more smoother effect, which can be really useful if you're creating a very simple look. But if you want to go all out, I can also set this to around, let's go with two. And now we would have a very cartoonish kind of a bounce, which looks very nice, very squashy and you know, it looks good basically. So my sweet spot is five. It looks good at five. 
pretty awesome and easy you can also turn on the motion blur and this is gonna add a really interesting motion blur to the text which looks pretty awesome and there you go there you have your pretty awesome looking squash and stretch kind of a bouncy text animation inside of after effects using a very simple technique now one more thing that you can do is i can let's turn off the motion blur. i can duplicate this hit ctrl d and i can even displace this a bit and let's give it a different color for this particular text and you know get a really interesting look get a bit more creative and it looks pretty awesome by the way so this was kind of a quick tip video for today and if you enjoyed this trick then do let me know in the comment section below also make sure to like this video and press the subscribe button and make sure to press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i upload a new video with that said i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative and make sure to follow me on instagram at dope.motions i'm super active on instagram by the way so yeah i'll see you in the next one